For Sandusky, an overnight stay in jail. In a crackdown on predators, undercover detectives posing as underage kids. Investigators say 132 men took the bait. Many of these arrests are part of the stings we have reported on. Now we know it's all part of a joint statewide operation. <laughs> Sheriff Brady Judd wanted this to be a wake up call for parents. Authorities urging parents to get involved in every aspect of their kids' lives. Millie Weaver reporting for Infowars.com. I'm here with a guest that is going to remain anonymous because they're going to show us deep inside the dark net, the dark web where child pedophilia pornography is shown, where sex trafficking goes on, drug trafficking, illegal gun sales goes on, identity theft, and so on and so forth. Now, I just wanted to ask you, what all have you seen, and can you describe some of what you've seen on the dark net? On the dark net, you have access to anything. It's, it's basically an uncensored internet when it comes to being able to buy and sell anything you can imagine. Now, I want to get more onto the child exploitation aspect of this. I know it's a very gruesome topic. It's pretty disturbing, but I, I don't want you to hold back. I really want you to just tell us what exactly is going on on the dark web regarding this child pornography and pedophilia industry. Well, you named it just right. It, it is an industry. It is a billion dollar industry to trade in child pornography. One of the biggest problems with the child pornography industry is that in order to get in, you typically have to either spend a lot of money or create your own. And they go out seeking victims in order to gain access to more child pornography. And then they trade it amongst each other. And they trade it much like you would trade something simple like a baseball card. They actually trade it as, as easily as that. So what type of money are they using for these transactions? They're using digital currency, which is Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is, you can buy it on any street corner. You can buy it even with their credit card online. And they even have agencies that do what they call Bitcoin washing, which is where if you buy it online, you can then take it through a process and then it anonymizes it again. What type of stories have you heard from people that have seen some of these child porn websites? Because I know that you yourself aren't going to look at that stuff. You don't want us to see it. I don't want to see it myself personally. But what have you heard from people? What are some uh, stories that you could kind of tell us about? The, the child pornography industries and going into the human trafficking industries are just like forums where you would go and buy drugs, which we will see. And they are very similar as in you can see here's what you're going to buy and here's how much you pay for it. And it's just like a product. The child is a product, the, the girl is a product, the boy is a product, and they are bought and sold as if they are products, just like any other store, only they're humans. We spoke with one other group that helped recover children, the Children of the Night group, and they were saying that it tends to be gangs that are trafficking some of these young girls. Do you know that to be true, that it, it's, it's usually gang-related? Or what do you think? Do you think that that these are different situations w with what you're seeing online with children being trafficked. Are those more like elite organizations that are putting this stuff on? It's kind of a mixture of both. Gangs are usually financed by organizations and whether it's a mafia type organization or a gang organization, they are always being financed and helped by other more elite places. And in many cases, they are actually servicing those elite places. The Lolita Express is an example of someone who goes into a modeling agency and pulls these girls out and uses them for sex. There are plenty of organizations that are in uh, the elite that are trafficking children, and they are actively trafficking right now as we speak. And those organizations are, are based in places like Hollywood, places that are surrounding modeling agencies, places where, where people are bought as a service, as a tool, 
If you were to go to an expo or a, a, a show where girls are used as as booth babes. Booth babes, okay. Booth babes are, are purchased for that weekend. And it's simply a graduation from booth babe to someone who is flying to another country and being served and used as that as that person in that other country. And when they get to that other country, they lose all of the ability to get out. Have you heard of any people being busted for content that they've posted on the dark web involving children being sexually exploited? There have been several instances, uh, but one of the biggest instances is that uh, when the FBI ran the most successful child pornography website in the world, and they ran it for three months. I don't know if you know about that. I did not know about that. So the FBI was running it? Because they essentially hacked into it, arrested the people who were running it, and then ran it themselves in order to try and catch the people who were using it. They arrested several hundred people. It was a major international uh, arrest where they arrested people in all countries around the world. And, and that was when they started to prove they had the ability to get into some of these dark net sites. And the CIA tools bypass uh, the dark net so that it doesn't matter if you try to hide, they'll still see it. And so tools like that are making it so that the dark net is harder to hide in. So theoretically, if somebody bought and stole someone's identity, how hard would it be to just use that person's identity to then watch child porn, for example? It would take you less than a day in order to buy and then use something for like, for something like that. Wow, so it's gonna be really hard to catch these people then when they have all these tricks up their sleeve. It's gonna be really hard to catch them and it's gonna be harder for people to justify why things are on their credit cards and why things are being purchased under their name. So somebody might actually get locked up in prison for something that they didn't do. Correct. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Let's, let's okay. see it. This is the hidden wiki. Once you get onto the dark net, the first place you're gonna go is to the hidden wiki. So their web addresses are encrypted? They're, yes, yeah. Their web addresses are encrypted, which was one of the reasons why it makes it harder to find them. Pretty crazy. And, and you were saying on this list here, they do include the child sex trafficking and the pedophile sites? Uh, that's, that's down in the, what they call the erotic section. And the biggest, the name they call it, and the name you'll see on the dark net is hard candy. So I see that it says erotic 18 and up, and then it says erotic hard candy. What does hard candy stand for? Hard candy are children that are under 18. Uh, okay. typically, typically hard candy is, is much, much younger children than 18. So anywhere from zero to 14 is the preference. Wow. And then you'll notice there's another category under that, which is jailbait. Jailbait is 16 to 18, typically. 16 to 18 is jailbait, okay. Which I only see one link there. So it seems like actually even the 18 and up is not even as popular as the hard candy because there's way more links under hard candy. Right. So they, they have cams just as you would a cam girl has a cam. So cam girls are girls that go online and they, they do live shows for, for men and, and they perform sexual acts. So they have cams with children on them instead of adults. Correct. Essentially with these children that are on these cam shows. There's usually an adult involved that's doing it with them to make it so that that happens. Wow. Part of it is, is being coerced and controlled and forced into that situation. How much do people usually pay for this? Like, I'm sure these videos aren't free, right? How much are people paying to watch these child porn videos? Uh, anywhere between uh, 50 to tens of thousands of dollars. This is a large industry. And because each act and each thing that they're paying for, it has the higher the, higher the risk, the higher the cost. So similar to how these are set up, are there things out there like with buying and selling children? I'll show you Alpha Bay, which is a site where you can purchase drugs and it's the forums that are, are there where you can buy and sell children are much like that. Let's see it. These are all the different categories for things I can buy on this particular market. And I can buy, I can buy fraud related things, drugs and chemicals. 
Can you buy weapons that can be used for terrorism? Yes, you can buy weapons that are used for terrorism. You know, the interesting one is salmonella. Salmonella? Salmonella was used in the largest um, terrorist attack on, on U.S. soil when it came to uh, chemical warfare. So gangs and stuff like that could use these weapons to commit crimes and not have it traced to them? Right. Or criminals just in general, assassins. How you were talking about how they have assassins. Yeah. Online. Mm -hmm. Where they can actually, people can pay these assassins online to commit murders? Yes, like an auction. It's wow. like an auction where you can bid for different people to be assassinated. I wanted to go, I wanted to show you the plane travel. Um, Private air charter services. So this is, uh, yeah, this is a biddable item where you can actually charter a plane privately and go wherever you want. And they could probably even buy a passport for children, right? Yeah. Basically, anyone can get a passport for anyone. Um, a trafficker can actually get passports for the children that he's trafficking? That's correct. All they need to do is take a picture of the person? That's correct. So basically, the dark net sells everything, like a toolkit of what people would need to traffic children? Correct. Wow. Can you show us some of the drugs on? Sure. If you go up to the categories here, you can see it has benzos, cannabis, dissociatives, ecstasy, opioids. Do they sell roofies? Because I know that's used to, like, date rape people and knock people out. Well, let's search for Rohypnol. And here are, here is 10 Rohypnols. Wow. It's $72. So there's a date rape starter pack right there. Here's 30 for $157. There's a lot. Do they use Rohypnol in human trafficking? Rohypnol is, is used when they're, when they're doing the kidnapping, which is not as often as it would be someone who is coerced into doing it. Yeah. The whole thing is just pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. This whole other world exists out there. It's, and, and they also, on a site like these pedophile sites like this, they actually sell children on there for sex? Right. In fact, you'll, it, those are, are less sold for sex. They're more sold for ownership. For ownership? Ownership. So what does that mean? That means that they, they have that child and it is now their child to do whatever they want with. So that they can then make porn videos and sell? If they want, yeah. But what about like the little babies, like the little, little ones? Those are being sold because they're off grid. Usually the easiest way is that they get it from someone who is already being trafficked. Wow. You know, that kind of links into some of the research that we've been doing about some of the satanic cults and these like Hollywood elite that perform these satanic rituals where they actually do do child sacrifices. There have been so many reports out there of people somehow coming forward, like young children and stuff, escaping it, talking about killing babies. So that would kind of explain like what's happening, like where are these babies coming from? Right. Yeah, that, that's exactly where they're coming from. Pretty dark. That's why they call it the dark net. Talk show host is Alex Jones. He's a, he's a conspiracy theorist. Radio talk show host Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. Radio talk show host and conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. And deeply, I think, racist. I just got called racist by MSNBC. I don't want that man to have a gun. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Alex Jones Show. Watch the free stream live at Infowars.com forward slash show. show.